मिर्ची रख दाने मिर्ची रख पूरा दाने खाली मिर्ची इनको Families of three members of the public from the area of Ponch, of Indian administered Jammu and Kashmir, have alleged to have been tortured to death by the Indian Army. They were picked up after an attack carried out by the armed opposition, known as the People Anti Fascist Front Path, in which five members of the Indian Army lost their lives earlier this week. The members of the public were identified as Safir Hussein, 37, Mohammed Shokat, 26, and Shabar Ahmed, 32. The alleged custodial killing of the three residents of Topa Mastandra village in Pinch District triggered protests on Friday. The community leader of the area of Topa Mastandra Sarpanch, Mahmoud Ahmed, said that the slain persons were among eight persons who were detained by the army from their residences. The local public and families of the deceased alleged that they were tortured to death by the army. The army men picked up several civilians from their homes on Friday morning besides summoning a few of them to their camp over the phone, said Mohammed Sadiq, uncle of Shokat, the youngest among the three innocent civilians killed by the army. Sadiq, also a community leader of the locality, testified that he rang up several local politicians and officials to help them in getting them released from custody after they were detained. His words, I told them that they were being beaten up but nobody came to their rescue. They were mercilessly killed by army men in the mall post camp. The press asked representatives of the Indian Army why these civilians were killed. The reply recorded by the press they have been killed due to their mistake. The army and CRPF allowed no one including the media to enter the village just to cover up their crimes against humanity. Another member of the local public, Mr. Sadiq, said for the victims of army brutality that they were innocent and had not even remote links with any militant activity. There is nothing adverse against them. There is not even an application against them in the police station. The brother of the deceased Safir Hussein, Mr. Noor Ahmad, said that he was detained by army men from his home on Friday. We were shocked to know in the evening that they have been killed. They have been killed in custody. He was even unable to talk to the press because he was in shock. The army and CRPF allowed no one including the media to enter the village just to cover up their crimes against humanity. Another member of the local public, Mr. Sadiq, said for the victims of army brutality that they were innocent and had not even remote links with any militant activity. There is nothing adverse against them. There is not even an application against them in the police station. The brother of the deceased Safir Hussein, Mr. Noor Ahmad, said that he was detained by army men from his home on Friday. We were shocked to know in the evening that they had been killed. They have been killed in custody. He was even unable to talk to the press because he was in shock. The video clips of the detained men being tortured show army soldiers spraying chili powder on their buttocks. Put chili in his anus in Urdu. One soldier can be heard saying in the video. It is also in the video a young boy is lying motionless on the ground while another man can be seen moving his hands helplessly before being stripped and sprayed with chili powder. Army soldiers pushing and beating up a man with what looks like a plastic cane while he is pleading with them to spare him in another video. Also, an army man could be seen sitting with jackboots on the arms of a civilian lying motionless on the ground. The community leader known as Rafiq said that due to restrictions imposed by the army, he could not visit their village. But he was also told that the five other civilians were admitted to the army hospital. He further told the media that they were all laborers who struggled to make a living. I guarantee that they were not involved in any illegal activities. It is tragic. The attack was claimed by the People Anti-Fascist Front and first surfaced in its earned resistance activities in Pinch on April 20th, Rajuri on May 5th, and in Kulgam on 4 August 5th this year, but the Indian Army is still speculative about its history and organizational strength.
The surprise of India that the theater of people's armed opposition has shifted to the Pir Punjal region where 24 members of the armed opposition had laid down their lives this year, while 21 members of the Indian Army. Indian Army and police in Jammu and Kashmir have a long history of killing innocent people and then declaring them as members of the armed opposition killed in action. In 2020, three poor laborers from the Rajuri district of Jammu were killed in a staged managed gun battle by the army in Amshipra village of South Kashmir's Shopian district and passed off as terrorists, reportedly for a cash reward and quick promotion. The police investigation revealed that an army captain identified as Bhupendra Singh alias Major Bashir Khan had abducted the three young men in a private car from their rented accommodation at Chowgam Shopian, killed them, and later planted illegal weapons and material on their dead bodies and tried to tag them as hardcore members of the armed opposition. The point is how the video clips came out, now in the public domain, and posted on social media. Was this by the whistleblower or the Indian army by itself? The probability is that video clips are intentionally allowed out into the public domain to terrorize the population. The deliberate use of violent imagery and torture video clips to terrorize populations is a deplorable tactic employed by various actors, including extremist groups, criminal organizations, and even sometimes state actors. This exploitation of violence serves multiple purposes. Witnessing such brutality can evoke deep fear and anxiety, making people more susceptible to control and manipulation. It aims to silence dissent and quell any opposition to the group or regime responsible. These video clips can be used as propaganda tools, showcasing the group's ruthlessness and power. This twisted narrative can attract individuals seeking violence or validation, contributing to recruitment efforts. Spreading such content can sow discord and mistrust within communities, fueling societal fractures and hindering any attempts at peaceful resolution. The survival of the colonial hold on an indigenous population requires the creation of discord, disharmony, suspicion, and factionalism in the society. The lexicon allotted specific terms for this type of violence terrorist or terrorism, the violence through which one tries to terrorize others. We don't call a murderer or a serial killer a terrorist because his or her motives were to kill not to terrorize their victims. India for the last 75 years failed to address the democratic aspiration of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The Provisional Treaty of Accession was the base to move forward to end the forced division of the state, and to allow people to elect their representatives for final settlement. The right to self-determination is the fundamental pillar of the modern democratic system. I can form a political party to demand an independent London. It is up to the people to vote for my party or not, but no one can stop me or my party from doing so or call me a traitor or put me behind bars. That is why democratic culture is an alternative to all kinds of political violence, wars, deaths, and destruction. Therefore, the responsibility for every loss of life, member of security personnel, members of the public, and members of armed opposition, squarely lies nowhere else but on the doorsteps of the rulers of India and Delhi. पुंछ से जो खबर आ रही है सिविलियन किलिंग्स की वो बेहद दर्दनाक है शर्मनाक है क्योंकि जम्मू कश्मीर की आवाम की जिंदगी की अगर कोई वैल्यू नहीं है तो मुझे ये अनफॉर्चुनेटली कहना पड़ रहा है कि क्या हम स्लेव्स हैं क्या आप किसी को भी आके मार देंगे जान से और उसके बाद हम देखते रह जाएंगे ये कितनी बार होगा ये कितनी बार हुआ है और ये कितनी बार होगा और कितनी बार हम कहेंगे आप जी इन्वेस्टिगेट करिए जी इंक्वायरी करिए जी ये करिए जी वो करिए क्या उन सब चीजों से ये जिंदगियां जो है वो वापस आएंगी नहीं आएंगी आपने जिन लोगों के बच्चे मार दिए उन लोगों को आप क्या जवाब देंगे क्या हमारे जान की कोई वैल्यू नहीं है क्या हम उसी तरह के सिटीजन नहीं है जिस तरह बाकी मुल्क में सिटीजन है वहां तो नहीं हम कभी सुनते कि किसी ने पांच सिविलियंस को मार दिया ये हम सिर्फ जम्मू कश्मीर में क्यों सुनते हैं 
बहुत अफसोस होता है बहुत दर्द होता है बहुत गुस्सा आता है एज अ सिटीजन ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर कि क्या हमारे साथ किया जा रहा है कितने शर्म की बात है अगर हम इस बारे में भी चुप करके